But uh, we are in the open sea already. So now the fuel is going into the direction of the North Sea. An almost endless plain of water. And we have good luck, it's not very windy that day. So very little waves. Almost no fog, so sight is quite remote. So really a brilliant day. in the North Sea. Okay, another watchtower there in front, marking the end of this water street. We are far off the shore, can detect it a little bit for the waves, so the water has become deeper. One can spot a faint view of some algae in the water. So water plants are around. Light fog comes up, but it's not very severe. So the North Sea is absolutely not dangerous this morning. So even further out. North Sea is becoming deeper, the waves are a little bit more ratchet. You can uh, really detect a little bit the flare, how the water, the sea is changing. Yet the North Sea is not very deep uh, in this area about 25 meters and all around uh, in Helgoland there is actually shallow water
So now we have spotted something at the horizon. Okay, we try to spot the thing at the horizon again. So there we see something towering out of the sea. But it's not so quite clear what it is. Some passengers think it's Helgoland. But uh, it couldn't be because the travel was already one hour to go. But this time we actually approach the island. So it can be seen at the horizon to quite close to the wall of the ship. It has a wide sand strand. And it's actually the island which is situated in front of the rock island, Helgoland. And it's a quite famous bathing site where people go in order to swim in the North Sea. It's quite nice. But because it's uh, this white sand, you can see it quite early, at least at this day, since there was hardly any mist and the fuel was very, very good. So we can now travel further and further, closer and cl coming closer and closer to the island. The sea is very calm and maybe you can see some water plants in it. Also jellyfish uh, are turning up. It's very faint white spots in the water below. So other passengers becoming curious too. They all want to see the island. And one of the sailors said, um, the one who sees the Helgoland first is obliged to give a round. But we are already beyond that point. So now we can uh, see some more distinctives of this bath strand, especially a watchtower, this little spiky spot there in the middle. So I think it serves both, it's a kind of signpost for the ship travel and traffic, but also I think uh, there is some officer up there who is guarding the bath, tourists, the safeguards or something like that. But now we see that the tower is becoming more and more distinct. And behind that uh, is the strand. Also some roofs can be seen, though there are some huts 